Hey gang, I'm Luke and for day two of Ball Bearing Week we're looking at Rock and Roll Maze. Let's get this thing down and have a look at it. I've long since lost the box for this thing but amazingly have all the bits still. Unlike Screwball Scramble, this is a battery power game and the remaining games featured this week are too. Rock and Roll Maze is an unusual variant on these games in that there is no buttons to press, no levers, no rockers. The whole board pivots on this hemisphere on the underside and can be compared in that respect to the classic wooden labyrinth game where you tilt the board to move the ball. Place the flags, arch and other details in place, add the marble to the start square and set the timer going. Setting the timer going will also set the motor going. You'll need to navigate the maze and get the ball to the small trough next to the timer in enough time. There's a couple of clever ways to modify the difficulty of this game. First, you can simply set the timer on auto, which is on a constant. It won't ever run out of time, and this feature is on a few of the other games. The second is these gates in the central. Closing all of them forces the player to explore every corner of the board. They'll only open one way, so you'll need to use the ball bearing to bash them open and move into the next segment. Having them all open from the start means that you can take massive shortcuts and quite easily get to the end. However, I'm a purist with these games and I enjoy a challenge. Starting in the top left, you'll have to navigate through the spinning flags which will flick your ball in all sorts of directions other than the way you wish to go. You'll go through the first gate and then you're onto the topsy-turvy steps, climbing up to the tower and back down again. Then smash through the next gate and you're into the blind alley maze. Much like Screwball Scramble, this can be a nightmare to navigate. Then you're into the treacherous tunnel. Fit the ball bearing in the hoop and slide it to the correct opening. Up and through the third and final gate, you'll navigate to the whirling well. Carefully timing the openings, you can navigate the ball into the center and you win. Once again, I'm astounded by the amount of thought and engineering put into this by Tommy. All the different movements ran off a single motor. The difficulty settings for this one keeps me coming back to it. This one has long since been out of production, but definitely worth checking out. Tune in tomorrow for another ball bearing game. I'll see you then.